Okay. Um, previously, we have seen how to set up uh, basic lighting and parameters into this scene. Uh, I regroup uh, the lighting object in the lighting collection and now I could um, add some uh, object in it. Um, I have in this scene a lot of uh, external scene, okay? Uh, and I would like to import and work with all this uh, scene um, directly in my uh, in my um, uh, in my main scene, uh, of course. So um, here I have a set of uh, stuff here, furniture, um, and I will add them um, into the scene. Okay, and for this kind of object, I will use uh, the the proxy option. Okay, um, so I will link. Um, an object. Okay, I will choose the, um, this one. And I set leak from library. And you will see that I have my object here. Uh, and I, can, I can't move the object. It's because it is uh, clearly a link. And what I would like to do with this kind of object is to um, create a proxy. Uh, and I will make a proxy of this object. And I can I can now uh, delete the copy and keep only um, the proxy. Okay, uh, this was the one with the small ghost here, but because I have broke the the link between the the, the link and the proxy, the ghost disappeared. And now um, I have my object. I can for sure uh, move it, scale it, rotate it. Okay, but uh, I can go in edit mode and I can't change the material because it's linked in the original scene. Pay attention a bit uh, with um, proxy because uh, object uh, lose um, the modifier in the original scene. So if you have, for example, an edge split or a subsurf or, or another kind of modifier, you will need to uh, add it again here. But for that, I can now just add an array modifier, set the constant of set uh, 1.2 and set a number of copy. Okay. And uh, the goal to work with proxy is to uh, um, earn rendered not render time but memory usage okay by using instance and proxy collection and you could see that now if i go in this scene and i edit this object uh, for example removing this sphere or changing the object and i save it normally um, it will be reloaded in the in this scene okay so you will see now that the sphere has disappeared. Great. And for all the, the, the stuff like this, you could work with um, simple proxy, I mean. Um, I will just do it again for the, for the table. Um, table, 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 table. Where is the table? This one, link. You will see that I have the chain here and I go to object relation um, make proxy and this one is the proxy with the ghost I delete this and I can now work with this one great perfect um, the other things that I have is the wall of barrels in the background here I can show you in the in the video and for that, the, the way of making the scene is a bit different because if I go to um, this scene, I have here my barrel and it's a different kind of different object, separated object. Um, this one with the modifier, for example, subsurf, mirror, etc. Okay. But the wall uh, set 
the, the two barrels and the structure here are um, parented to an empty object and put in a collection named tonneau support here. Okay. And what I would like to do um, for this is to link and I go to uh, tonneau support and use collection not object and I select my collection and link from library and now I have here all my collection okay and for that um, you're, you don't lose the, the modifier you will see that all the modifier here um, in this object is uh, already here okay but I can uh, use modifier because it's a collection okay so I can um, I can't here for example use a, an array modifier to place uh, the object like this so um, I will set um, this manually for 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 this one okay um, and probably uh, if I would like to use modifier uh, I should make my my uh, my scene uh, differently probably by ap applying modifier and um, joining object together to have one single object to use after that uh, a modifier now I will use alt, uh, um, alt D to, to, to clone the object okay and uh, after that you will see that it's not it's easy to yeah like this um, and I create a new collection all barrels like this perfect and for this kind of object I also can create a collection like this great perfect um, you can also um, use um, proxy in collection then collection link in the scene I can show you with the with the with the glass okay file go to file link and I will link the the glass here um, object wine glass you can see this is my wine glass okay um, and now when I um, make the proxy okay you will see that my uh, wine glass now lo lose the, the modifier so I need to um, apply the modifier again this is important okay and now um, what I say before is that if I would like to make uh, plates and forks etc on the on this table I can now um, open uh, this scene so I have here different object here and this one is a proxy so I make exactly what uh, I do in the scene um, before okay link the glass uh, go to object relation make proxy and I have a proxy of the the, the glass in this scene okay and now um, in my main scene I will re uh, reopen it again I go to link and set and select the collection for for this one and now I have a linked collection but which include the original um, proxy of the glass so if I need to change the glass um, it's easy I change on the original uh, blender file uh, this one okay and easy the glass will change in the different uh, different scene and uh, will change everything so that's a good way to 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 work um, that's a good way to work with uh, with your object 
don't hesitate to use uh, proxy link and collection because uh, if you put all your stuff in your scene and just simply copy it by shift D uh, you probably will have a uh, problem uh, with your with your uh, viewport especially if you when you will uh, be in uh, the, the render uh, viewport the rendered viewport yeah so next step of this tutorial uh, materials and after that we will uh, add a specific uh, lighting into uh, this scene um, but um, one last thing uh, is for the for the bottle uh, I can just show you uh, what I what I what I've done um, if I go to uh, this one I just append the original uh, storage in another scene and just link a, a proxy, uh, a single bottle. And uh, for this, I use um, a kind of pattern grid here. And uh, I use a particle emitter with a hair, um, with a, with a hair system and set I have here in my uh, object um, exactly uh, this number of vertices, 1,731 uh, vertices. So I set the number of the particle exactly to the same. And after I have some um, uh, value uh, here uh, to set correctly the bottle. And uh, yeah, that's... Um, an easy way to to um, to uh, to spread all the this bottle in the in the storage con uh, in the storage, um, and you will find a lot of tutorials uh, uh, on YouTube about that, especially with a book on uh, on, uh, on on shelf storage, etc. So um, I don't think it's very um, uh, useful to to uh, make. A part of this tutorial for that um, but now if I go to uh, this one you will see that I have here um, a collection like this and I just uh, have my collection here and uh, if I um, set uh, the value to zero the bottles are in place and I do exactly the same for um, this file collection. Uh, yes, this this one. So, when you have um, heavy objects uh, in terms of uh, polygon in your scene, you might use um, the link uh, scene. The simple link scene and then that's we will see uh, in the next tutorial with the brick wall because we will add a displacement modifier and you will see that with EV it's a bit different uh, than in cycle thank you for watching and uh, see you in the next tutorial